On today's episode, we have a few days in the Mudgee region, three and a half hours northwest of Sydney in central western New South Wales. Mudgee's famous for its food, its history, and of course, its wine region. We tackle the walk at the drip and visit the hands on rock in the Goulburn River National Park, both of which were quite spiritual. We also get up close and personal with a few little slimy friends. Sit back, relax, and enjoy, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, yeah, tell your friends. Peace be the journey. morning we're at the drip which is about 47 k's from Mudgee um, grade 4 2.8 kilometers return not sure about the grade 4 how hard that is but I guess we'll soon see nice cool day here today it's only about 22 at the moment which is good because in four days time it's going to be 42 so Apparently there's a little creek crossing as well, so hasn't been too much rain, so hopefully we won't get too wet. Can't see wombats. Prefer a wombat than a snake. Up in there. Literally walked three minutes and we're not sure where to go. This takes you down to a nice creek though. Nope. Down up there too. Okay. We'll just have a look. It's gorgeous. Shame you can't camp out here. Yeah. A bit warm, I go for swim. Mm. Water's crystal clear. Mm. Just sit on that leg there, you good? feet on this crossing.
so far hasn't been too bad. Not what I class as a great fall anyway. How cool is this? All the pebbles. scientific name pretty much follow this little creek all the way it's beautiful so clear Four foot. It's only a black snake. Red belly black. He didn't want to move. Come on, mate. Move. There he goes. He gone. Yep. Bernie's just seen a red belly black snake. About four foot. Uh, not sure if Trina will go up there now. How, has he really gone? Go on. Can you come back and get me then? Hopefully we don't see any more little black friendly snakes. I think I'm making enough noise when I walk for them not to come out. Pretty cool. Made it to the drip. Probably be much cooler if the um, if we'd had a little bit of rain, but you can see it dripping all the way along there. Pardon? Okay. This is our final destination. It's called the drip. You can see why it's called the drip. It's massive. As you can hear the water dripping out of the rocks. comes down into this big gorge. You can see where massive rocks have broken off and filled the gorge here. 
this is cool. Can see it dripping in the water. Russell Quirt's up there talking to some creature. <laughs> over there. I just walked across this log, across to the, the end of this boulder, and I come across this big fella. The old lazy carpet snake. I don't know, he's probably six foot maybe. No, he couldn't care less. He's got a pretty fat belly, so he might have just had a feed. Tell us about the grade four track. Grade four track. Easy. Easy as. Nice cast of walk in, steps. A little bit of uneven ground. A little bit uneven, but they're, they're working on it. This place is amazing. If you ever get to the mudgy Golgong region, out here. This place is spiritual and it's just amazing. I've seen some wildlife. I saw a black snake. I saw a big carpet snake over there. Yeah, fantastic. Do yourself a favour. Get out to the drip. Yo! Yo! <laughs> That's the little creek that we followed the whole way pretty much. You can see here where it's actually been up to in the floods so pretty much I would be standing underwater where I'm at now on rocks just two and a half k's up the road and a 600 meter walk in it's not kept quite as well as the other track watch out for snakes now huh? I said watch out for snakes now Pardon? That must be a little counter. Mm. Mm. For real up here? Huh? It's for real up here.
Yep. Yeah. A bit of a trim. Ugh. But I hope nothing comes out here. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. to the Yulin pub too. Yeah, great toasted sangers. Open the kitchen up to cook us some. Very friendly lady. Toasted sandwiches for lunch. Last of our crawls today, we've been to a vineyard, we've been to a gin distillery, and now we're coming to the Three Tails Brewery and Smokehouse. Sadly, nothing tonight. 